Hey everyone, it's Alessandro Brooks here from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare carnitas, which translates from Spanish to little meats. There are many different recipes and variations on how to prepare carnitas. This is my take and the way that I like to make them, where the pork is braised with beer, orange juice, chilies like chili guajillo, chili ancho, chili chipotle, plus a bunch of spices that punch a lot of flavor. The meat just falls apart and is so tasty. This is perfect to serve with tacos, taco bowls, empanadas, or even on its own. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Start by slicing one large yellow onion. Roughly chop six large cloves of garlic. We'll also be using one dried chili guajillo, one chili chipotle, and one chili ancho. Remove the stems and seeds of the chilies. Next, juice two large oranges. and one or two limes. We will be using four pounds of pork shoulder that will be cutting into big chunks. Season the pork with salt and fresh ground black pepper. Next, on a large pan or Dutch oven, melt a good amount of lard. Add the pork and brown it on both sides. Do not crowd the pan. You want the meat to get a nice color without steaming. Brown it in two batches if needed. Once the pork is nice and brown, add the onions, chilies, and garlic. Once the onion starts to get translucent, return all the meat to the pan. Then, it's time to add the spices. Season with two heaping teaspoons of cumin powder, a heaping teaspoon of coriander, 2 teaspoons of 6 chili powder Dried oregano, about 2 to 3 teaspoons and 2 teaspoons of smoked paprika 2 bay leaves Then add the orange and lime juice and the beer I'm using 1.5 bottles of lime beer for some added lime taste I also like to add a small splash of white wine vinegar. Bring it to a boil, then lower the heat to medium-low. Cover the pan and let it braise for one and a half to two hours. When the pork is done, it should be falling apart. Turn the heat off and remove the meat from the pan into a large plate, leaving the braising liquid in the pan. Then, shred the meat. I like to use two forks and just pull it apart. Fish out the bay leaves and pepper skins. You can also blend the peppers with the sauce if you wish. Return the meat into the braising liquid. This is a good time to taste and adjust the seasoning. But remember that once the liquid is reduced, the flavors will concentrate more. I am just adding a little bit more salt. At this stage, I like to leave the meat in the liquid and refrigerate overnight for the flavors to develop even further. Bring it back to a boil and reduce the liquid, but don't let it completely dry. The carnitas are done and can be served just like this, but I like to crisp them up a bit on a skillet with oil or lard right before serving. Mm -hmm. 
These carnitas are great to be served on tacos with some fresh salsa. They're also great with rice and beans, salsa and guacamole. They're great with tostones and mole sauce. And they're even great inside a quesadilla or sandwich. I hope you have enjoyed the recipe. And if you did, please don't forget to like it, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.